The name of the game is called Roadblocks, and uh, you'll want to put it on your list. The Dan York State of Mind program is brought to you in part by Lookout Rhode Island and Takeo Comfort Solutions. Professor Humble is back. She is going to, uh, well, once again, lay out some really interesting learning ideas about the state of Rhode Island. If you haven't seen all of her work, and uh, it is plentiful, and if it isn't all already dispersed amongst the family from Christmas gifts past, well, then you have some catching up to do, and there's a brand new opportunity for you this holiday season. So welcome in. Uh, I'll, don't be confused. This is not necessarily a lighter conversation. It's, a, it's lighter because I, I love the professor, but she is quietly dangerous when it comes to some political commentary. You're going to learn about that coming up in just a minute. Great to have you aboard. Thanks for tuning in. Let's hustle to the rundown and check on some of the things that are happening. And there are a lot of things happening. Here's a couple of headlines and the things that we should be concerned about when it comes to finally a Secretary of State choice. We have those headlines. Do we have those headlines? Yes, we do. Uh, here's first, Trump picks ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson to be Secretary of State. And the second, guess what? Old Rick Perry is, is kind of back. Here's the latest from CBS. President-elect Donald Trump tweeted out the news. He wants Rex Tillerson to be his Secretary of State, calling him one of the truly great business leaders of the world. We just uh, couldn't be uh, more grateful uh, that someone of Rex Tillerson's uh, proven leadership and accomplishments been willing to step forward to serve our nation. Tillerson has no foreign policy experience, but as CEO of ExxonMobil, has negotiated deals with governments around the world. He was responsible for drilling agreements with Russia in the 1990s, and Vladimir Putin awarded him a Russian Order of Friendship in 2013. Tillerson and Putin have known each other for 15 years. The incoming Trump administration views the Tillerson-Putin relationship as an advantage, but it could pave the way for a battle as the nomination goes through the Senate. It's a matter of concern to me that he has such a close personal relationship with Vladimir Putin. Senator John McCain told Face the Nation he's skeptical but willing to hear Tillerson out. And Senator Marco Rubio issued a statement Tuesday morning saying he has serious concerns about Tillerson. Rick Perry will also be joining the Trump cabinet as Secretary of Energy. The former Texas governor once said he would eliminate the department. And rapper Kanye West stopped by Trump Tower for a visit with the president-elect this morning. I just want to take a picture right now. Mr. Trump says the two talked about life. Well, at least he didn't nominate him for a secretary position. I mean, just, you know, breathe easy on that. Uh, hey, listen, this Tillerson appointment is kind of uh, fascinating. Donald Trump may, may, may just find out that he's not the totalitarian leader that in his mind he pictures he is because when Republicans with such a slim majority in the Senate um, only necessary but a few of them saying you know what no go on this too close to Russia he is this could be the first big appointment that gets turned down now my guess is is that he's gonna mount quite the charge with folks like Condoleezza Rice and others who say it's a good pick so this is going to be a down to the wire process for confirmation come the winter, so pay attention to that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Clay Pell is burping about this. Check out this headline. Oh yeah, Clay Pell. He's back. Um, well, let's just run this and we'll talk about it. In our view, this really is an attack on our country, an attack on democracy. Rhode Island Electoral College member Clay Pell is one of 10 who drafted a letter over the weekend to the Director of National Intelligence requesting information about the ongoing investigations into whether Russia interfered in the presidential election, potentially helping Donald Trump win the presidency. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's just another excuse. Uh, I don't believe it. Uh, I, I don't know why. There are many questions swirling around this issue, and politicians on both sides of the aisle want a congressional investigation into possible Russian meddling. Pell believes that information should be released to everyone. And it's premature for people in the absence of information to be rejecting it or not. Let's see what it is, then we can say, is it reasonable, did this happen? And if it did, what happened and what does that mean for us as a country and how are we going to protect ourselves, not only in this election, but in the future? Pell says this issue is much bigger than any one candidate. He says it's making sure no one can interfere with the U.S. presidential election and undermine our democracy. Rhode Island's Democratic chair also released a statement Monday evening saying, quote, 
Certainly, before our nation's electors cast their votes next week, they should know the full findings of those investigations. So, too, should the American public. And that's the unknown Democratic Party chairman, right? Well, I'll put a bag on Joe McNamara's head because uh, we're getting a little eyes. Because uh, how many times do we try to get him here, Lex? At least five. Yeah, it's so bad we can't get Joe McNamara here that he has to have a, a step in with Billy Lynch, who used to do that job, but comes here and speaks for him. Uh, Clay Pell's nuts. You can't match nuts with nuts. Now, Look, Donald Trump acts out all day long and gives you the willies about presidentiality. There's no doubt about that. But for the Electoral College, for an un, in an unprecedented way, meaning the people who are electors, to be privy to intelligence information prior to their actual, what ought to be, routine casting of votes for the candidate that won in their state is insane. Now, I don't know where Clay Pell, you know, decided to come up with this idea, but it is not constructive. Um, I've got all sorts of qualms about Donald Trump. If you watch this show and listen to the radio, you know that to be the case. But this is just uh, upending the apple cart in process uh, to the point where um, it's getting to be ridiculous. So it doesn't mean that we shouldn't have Senate hearings. It doesn't mean that Congress shouldn't do its job, take what the CIA is concerned about. It doesn't mean that Donald Trump shouldn't chill on this notion and stop defending his big ego and the worry about the popular vote versus the Electoral College. He was the duly elected president. He ought to act like it. And Pell ought to just zip it. All right. Um, innovation complex. This is really fascinating. Uh, more and more taxpayer money just trying to jumpstart this economic situation here in Rhode Island. Providence Journal step forward or toward innovation. Uh, this is the Wexford 195 project. Now, there was a lot of information that actually came out late morning today. We've got some pictures here, right, of, uh, of what this project looks like. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's impressive. Uh, these entities that want to do this deal uh, have done so in the past and been successful and generated economy. And they're between the construction of the project and the actual employees that may be taken on board for all of these innovation, uh, technologically, entrepreneurial, advanced corporate projects. Uh, you know, all these, all these jobs are wonderful. But here's the dynamic that concerns me. We still seem to need to put $20, 30000000 million of our taxpayer money in to jumpstart these suckers in this chase-the-tail, chase-competitive-states dynamic rather than, or, or, or just reality, rather than just having a playing field which is just so economically fertile that companies come in here without incentives. Now, some of you might be watching this saying, well, Daniel Whistle and Dixie, because that horse left the gate a long time ago, uh, it does feel like an endless cycle. The problem is we don't have endless piles of money to incentivize these projects. You know, I wish this one well. It's off and running, and this will be Gina Raimondo's signature, but heavens to Betsy. Um, you know, the well does go dry quickly. All righty. Uh, Three cheers for Billy Gilman, right? This is a whole different kind of conversation, much lighter in nature. Justin Bieber is in on the action. Does Justin Bieber have any juice? Yeah. Yeah? When it, uh, uh, Billy was here on the show. When was Billy here? Uh, April. April of this year. Uh, this guy is just, you don't get a more modest, um, decent, guy in the entertainment business. The only thing about this that gives me a qualm, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to upset the apple cart here when it comes to, you know, a local person done good, but Idol was amateur. I was a big Idol guy. The voice seems to want to, uh, you can put that down. We don't have to, that, thanks. Um, the, the Idol uh, thing seemed more authentic to me. You know, you get the bartender that wins. Billy Gilman's a pro. I guess if we can have professional basketball players and hockey players in the Olympics, I'm looking at Lexi because I'm having a debate with her. Uh, I, I guess we can accept that the voice is a different kind of project. I, I wish him well, hope he wins. But it's not like he's not proven. I don't watch the voice. I'm not gonna start watching the voice. Anyway, sorry. Uh, that's the name of the game. Roadblock, here's a picture of it. A unique Rhode Island card game. And she is back. Professor Roberta Mudge Humble is creating again, aren't you?
I am. You agree with me on Billy Gilman? Were you nodding your head? I was nodding my head that I want him to win, yeah. but I also am a little amazed that an, a professional gets to be on the show. But then I guess that it's anybody can do it, so right. that's fair. Yeah. But he's staying at the Armory, you know, a number of times for the muscular dystrophy. He was a good fundraiser for muscular dystrophy. What a good kid, huh? Yeah, yeah. very good kid. It started we really early. I mean, I think when he was two, he was singing for heaven's sake. How you been? I've been fine. I've been busy uh, with my new game and uh, promoting that, and of course, all the other books and games still selling well and still teaching in CCRI. Forty-seven years. Yes. Yeah, so. Trying to get these kids to write correctly, right? Technical writing. Technical writing. Real-world writing. Yes. So they can win out there at Wexford and wherever else. Yeah, they do proposals, all kinds of analytical reports. You have, um, you you weave all sorts of, 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 of subtle but concise, um, implied sometimes opinion into the games and, and books that you've written about Rhode Island, right? Yes. So I'm guessing you've got some thoughts. I, do, just, I, I, I didn't ask you to be prepared for this. If you want to take a pass, that's fine. Do you, do you worry, like I do, uh, that we just keep throwing money out to try to jump up this economy rather than creating a, a fertile playing field that, that is so competitive people just want to come by its very... <laughs> Well, if you're going to offer money to people, they'll come. But I think the, the, the in the long run, the big picture is kind of what even President-elect Trump was promoting, the idea of lowering taxes and reducing uh, restrictions, legal restrictions for businesses and so on. So the regulations will be diminished. I think that's why the stock market rose so quickly, too, mm. because they felt like they were being taken out of a straight jacket. And they could move forward, and they could then that will hire people, and the economy will grow. Until we do that, uh, I do think you're going to have to look at entitlements carefully, and a lot of them are certainly very valid. What do you think about the election, by the way? What did I think about the election? Uh, it was, it was very negative, and I'm sorry to say that because both of them had to be negative, and I I think negativity breeds negativity sometimes, so I don't like to see that. Um, I think though. Uh, I think I had qualms with both candidates. Um, I'm probably uh, more Trump-oriented only because I like his fresher ideas. I think it, there's a freshness to it, even though there's a freshness in him. But I think the... You worry about security and him being uh, presidential? Uh, at this point, I worry a little less about it because I'm getting used to it to a point. You get hardened to it. But it's sort of like uh, at school when the professor started dressing really badly, and I kind of got used to that. Everybody's in jeans and T-shirts, and I thought, good lordy, you know? So it's a different generation. Now. I'm too old. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. When we come back. Uh, some of the new projects and some opportunities for you under the tree. Stay with us. All right, we have a complete takeover of the show by Professor Mudge Humble, and uh, I expected nothing less because this is not her first visit um, to uh, Dan York's State of Mind. In fact, we've I, I would imagine that you will probably see a, a repeat or two of, of, of previous shows we've done in previous years during the holiday season when I take a, a little time off because they're, the, some of the uh, gift ideas and some of the stuff that we've done in the past have been, are timeless. I mean, they're still available, right? Yes, they are. Everything that you were, by the way, yeah, I mean, th this is, um, Rody. this is Rody Red. Rody like, you Rooster. Want Rody Rooster. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. You carry him around all over the place? Well, I do seven Rhode Island presentations. I take them out. I do a lot of state and national conferences, and I'll do some organizations, too. And he, he brings a smile to everyone's face, so he's well worth bringing, even though sometimes it's awkward. But yeah. you walk in, and people go, oh, look, and, you know, and they, they smile, and it's nice. He's our state symbol, and I'm a bird person anyhow. You know that. So. Yes. All right, so as uh, Rhodey Red hangs out with us for the balance of the show, the, the, the roadblock, here comes, yeah, you're moving it over this way? Oh, because it was in front of the shot, right? Yeah. Well, listen, Bergman did that. He put the, he put the, he put the rooster right in his shot, for heaven's sake. Rookie. That's all right, yeah. The boss is a rookie. Um, roadblocks is your newest project. Right. Right. You know what? We should do this in reverse. Yes. Next segment, you're going to see all the nuances of the new project, Roadblocks. But it I want to build some momentum for this because everything is laid out here. In the old days, 
for the old shows, we had Sing Rhode Island, and, and you know, we sang. and we sang, and we've sung here, and we'll repeat that show somewhere along the line. These. Remind me, people can find all of your creations, these books and these CDs and these videos and whatever and games, at what site? Uh, Westerlyarmory.com. Right, and we'll, we'll put well, that'll be on FoxProvidence.com if we don't already have that posted. Do we have that posted? We should have that posted. We don't have that posted, but we will easily remember Westerlyarmory.com. But in the old days, we sang some of this stuff. What was my favorite song, by the way? Do you remember? No, I think it was probably the best. Um, First, best, and unique. So. And, we, and we sang. While you're looking for that, let me show you a couple other things. There it is. What is it? What was the one that was? First and best. Give my regards to Warwick. Remember me to Barrington. Tell all the folks in North Smithfield that Rhode Island's number one. First, I mean, all, every lyric to every song in this Sing Rhode Island is about Rhode Island. This work is fascinating, and people will love it. And if you... You want to talk about an icebreaker at a party, or if if you know the kids are a little rambunctious and you got nothing going on, and there's you know Christmas Day is getting a little, you bring this out. Has a CD in the back too. It's got a CD in the back, so you can actually hear the singing going on there. Rhode Island's friendly faces. Children's uh, book. The children's book. You can also put it over here. There we go. Rhode Island's friendly faces. The windmill is the main character, and he goes all around Rhode Island visiting the historic sites as a tribute to Rhode Island's historic sites. Okay. Uh, this is a CD, which is what? It goes, Rhode and there's also a little book. It's a DVD and the and a book or, that goes or with the it. book. They're both the Rhode, Rhode Island, Island quiz. The big Rhode Island quiz. Mm -hmm. So this is Rhode Island. You know, everybody. Quizzes every, and answers. Everybody in Rhode Island thinks they know everything about Rhode Island, and then they read your stuff and go, hmm. I don't, I don't feel I know everything. Really? Yeah. Scary how much there is. I'm not kidding. We have over 19,000 historic sites alone. On the National Register of Historic Places. How many? Over over nineteen thousand. Really? Yeah, it's listed on the state preservation website. Yeah. You make history interesting. What else you got here? Can I show you this? Yeah. This is uh, Little Rhodey and the other forty-nine. It compares Rhode Island to the other forty-nine states. This is the one I took around the nation. Right. This is the one I did for the National Conference of Secretaries of State. Via, uh, I mean, I mean, you're comparing them via what criteria? All sorts of criteria. It's it's quirky and it's meant to be. Uh, you'll get In and Hope in Rhode Island compared to Walmart in um, Arkansas. Yeah, so how about this? So Idaho, I just is random. Idaho is the birthplace of television and also home to annual Spud Day. Get it? Well, Rhode Island is the birthplace, birthplace of Mr. Potato Head. Get it? Spud in you know, Idaho, Potato Head here. Well, That's keep the, reading. Oh, well, it's, it was the first toy it was ever. The first, ever, first toy ever advertised on TV. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. So that's just some. That's just some of what you can get at WesterlyArmory.com. And all. The, I, it, it might correct me. Remember all the proceeds. No, not all not the proceeds. All, all the proceeds from them. Crow, and we sold twenty thousand of these. Yeah. Right to Crow, first best and uniques went to the Westerly Armory. Right. Te at least ten percent or more of each of these goes to the Westerly Armory. Right, because that's your project. It is my project. Right. When we come back, the newest roadblocks. Stay with us. Put, put it there. Okay. All right. Get Professor asked me if I can shuffle. Of course I can shuffle. I can. I play okay. a lot of cards. Oh, good. All right, so. You'll love this. Roadblock is the newest, smallest, easiest. It, this is not the classic stocking stuffer. I don't know what is, right? Perfect. It, it's, it is. Roadblock. This is good for adults, it's good for families, and it's good for older children. Yeah. Do you want to go that side? Yeah, well, anyway, it's hard to see. There you go. Oop, there you go. Roadblock. And, and my, it's available. And my chin and doesn't come with it. Just, uh, just the, okay. the. All right. So this is this is a card game that we can play. Yes. And so tell me the premise before we start playing. Okay. It's much like Crazy Eights for those who know that, but it's easy to learn. It's hard to win sometimes. It can be a quick win or a long win. I think we've got some upside down there. Do you have to cut it? Which way? No, you don't have to cut it. No, right, no. What? Give me four. Each four. Deal out four to each. There. Some of them are. Some of them are upside down. So, okay. Oh. Okay. Turn them over so they just ignore that. For okay. Because okay. roadblock needs to be on the other okay, side. Okay. Yes. I get you. Get All you. Right. Okay. We're a little messy. Now on the on the pile, turn the top one over. Right. Just okay. Like it says that. two park. Two park. Two park. So do you have a two or a park? Uh, or a I roadblock? do have a two. I have a two. Okay. 
I don't even know you how to play Crazy Eights now that I remember. I told her I did. I, I don't remember. Okay, then put the two on top of it. The, the object is to get rid of the cards in your two. hand. Two. This says two, but sport. And That's it says okay. International Tennis Hall of Fame. Are you understanding? All of these things are thematic. Okay. But the park was Roger Williams Park. Okay, so two is sport, the Hall of Fame tennis. Okay, okay. I don't have a two, but I have a roadblock card. And my roadblock, I can change it to any number I want. Gotcha. Do so, we have a picture of a roadblock card? I think we do. So roadblock is kind of like road works. No, the, the, yeah, the other oh, is one with a um, roadblock. You in got it. another one up there? You got another still? No, no not those. Those are the general cards. Okay, but we those are have general you. cards. Well, that's, that's all, all you right. have? What well, a, this, this roadblock card says, caution, toll plaza ahead. Yeah, let me show that to everybody. So this is... Let me see if we can do this again. Um, hang in there with us. We're just semi-live television. Can we shoot that on the side? On the, which way? Where am I going? That way? Okay. So now I know what camera you're using. That's roadblock, the card, okay? Here's, so this is kind of like a wild card or a, a stop card of some kind? You can, yes, you can change the number from 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 okay, or whatever caution, you want. Caution, toll plaza ahead. That's a political statement. Yes, it is. And it says, what does it say below that? Welcome to Rhode Island, like with okay. the rooster in it. All right, so that you just blocked me right there? Yes, right. I did. So I said three. So put down a three. If you have a three. I don't have a three. Do you have a roadblock card? I do. Okay. What does your roadblock card say? My roadblock card says mind closed. And what's below it? It says cooler and warmer, political commentary. Do you get all of this? This is phenomenal. All right, listen. Okay. So what do you want? Do you want what number do you want? I gotta go. We're out of time. <laughs> Westerlyarmory.com. I think you get the flavor. You are fascinating. You are a jewel of the state mm -hmm. and a signature on it. And you need to have all of her stuff under the tree or in a stocking for this holiday season. Hanukkah gifts, too. Thank you, dear. And, yeah, what welcome. else? Do you want to say one more thing? I just wanted to say one more thing. When you go on the website, it also lists all the stores in the Rhode Island, all local well, stores that sell them, yeah, all right, all as right. well as online. Westerlyarmy.com. If you can't remember that, go to foxprovidence.com. We good? Yeah. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Usually I just make a closing remark, but we actually miss time, so I've got a minute, so uh, the professor's still here. By the way, this is like, you're, this is, if I kept this, I'd have a competition with David Faraday on the Golf Channel, because he talks to his parrot, because he's a psycho. I'm not going to talk to the parrot. I'm just going to pet the parrot. Uh, this is incredible work that you put into, in, into these projects. How do you do it? I like, I'm a teacher. I like teaching people. I don't know everything, but I'm learning too, and I like to pass on the word. This is a great state, and we we may be a little bit overtaxed, but uh, we have so many good things going here, and I like people to know the good things. A little bit of good government problem, too, from time to time, don't you think? Yes. Yes. Is that reflected in any of the humor? It's here and there. It's a little bit of a touch. Sprinkled about. Sprinkled. Yes. Well, I think all, all, all of your your issues are subtly sprinkled through all of your projects and all of the work. Well, it's, it's important, yeah, to, but to put out, so that people think about Rhode Island as well as love it. Hmm. All righty. Again, westerlyarmory.com. What is your final message to everybody for the holiday season? Well, I want to wish them well. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope that you will enjoy Rhode Island and spend, spend your money in local stores. Absolutely. Get some of this stuff. You're going to love it. See you tomorrow and on the radio at 3.